In this lesson, we're going to look at the treble clef and look at the notes that are associated with the treble clef or are close to the treble clef. The middle C is the first note that we're going to use. Now, middle C, which is right here, as we know very well from our songs, is not on the treble clef. It sits between the treble clef and the bass clef, and there is a line going through it. So it looks like a circle with a line going through the middle. That's a very important note to memorize. Then D, which is located right here, we've played that in a number of our songs, that sits right under the treble clef. So it just hangs there like a drop of water, for lack of better words. E, which is the third note that we've worked with in our songs in the right hand, that is going to be the first line of the treble clef. So if we think about the treble clef, we can think basically that it's for notes above middle C, heading up on the piano. Occasionally, you will have notes below middle C that are associated with the treble clef, but I would say 90% of the time, it's for notes middle C and above, and primarily, again, 90% of the time for the right hand. So we had two sayings, one for the lines of the treble clef and one for the spaces of the treble clef. The notes that are associated with the saying for the lines are E, G, B, D, and F. And those are right, I'll show you the positions of those notes on the keyboard. The E for every is right here. The G for good is right here. The B for bird is right here. The D for does is right here. And the F for fly is right here. And this is always the case with the treble clef and the piano. When you see the E for every, it will always be this note. When you see the G for good, it will always be that key on the piano. It cannot be any other key on the piano. When you see the B for bird, it's always this key. And when you see the D for does, it's this one. And the F for fly, it has to be this note that's higher up. Now, let's look at the saying for the spaces of the treble clef. And that is the word face, spelled from bottom note to top, sort of upside down. So F of face is right here. And you might notice, just going back, that the F for fly, every good bird does fly, is here. And that's higher up on the staff, on the treble clef. The first space of the treble clef is the F for the word face. And it has to be this one. It can't be any other note or any other key. Here's the second letter, A, of face. Here's the third letter, C, of face. And here's the final one, the top note, E, the fourth space of the treble clef. So let's spell it one more time. F will be just four keys, one, two, three, four, above middle C. So face, F, A, C, E. And there you have it. Those are the notes of the treble clef on the piano keyboard.